Hey YouTube, welcome back to this week's English review. Uh, we're back with another beer from Brouwerij de Molen. It's called Porter. In English and Dutch it's Porter. Um, you could, it's almost uh, spelled like the Porter, you know, like the English Porter. Uh, this is the Dutch version of it. That's why it's spelled with two O's instead of one. And um, it's kind of an old style in the Netherlands. I don't know if it's uh, older than the porter from England or that the porter from England is older. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know exactly what the difference between the two are. Um, but yeah, this is a. Uh, Beer from Brouwerij de Molen, uh, the Borf Special from 2019, and it's uh, a 6% uh, beer. The ingredients are water, the barley malts are uh, pills and caramel brown roasted, oats uh, brown rock sugar, brewing hops uh, premiant and zaas uh, licorice wood. Dry hop with citra and top fermenting yeast. Um, it's a, a old Dutch style beer from the late Middle Ages. That's what the bottle says. Gets a 3.3 on tap. Not much check ins because it's uh, a beer, uh, especially brewed for the uh, Beer festival from uh, Brouwerij de Molen Borfs, and they only brew small batches, so they got 300 check-ins almost. So that's not much to go on, but let's open the bottle and see what she looks like. Nice brown, light brown color when I pour it. Hazy. You can see some red glow in the camera. You can even see the light uh, through the beer when I hold it in the light. Nice uh, tight hat. Um, lots of small bubbles. It's a bit darker when I see it on camera. It's more white. I see it's like it's a kind of a very light mocha kind of flavor uh, color. Looks great. Just pour the last bit in as well. And let's go to the nose. Smells um, some earthy notes. Sweet. Some light fruity notes from the citra, I think. Is it citra? Yeah. It's dry up with citra. Um, some roasty roastiness to it. Just a tiny bit, but it's there. Yeah, smells uh, refreshing and really nice. Cheers. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Um, it's a light, uh, light beer, six percent, but it's really big on the flavors. It's not a uh, thick beer. Not like an imperial stout of ten percent. Um, not a great mouth feel. But, um.
definitely getting that um, chocolate flavor. And then uh, the citra kicks in with a nice bitterness at the end. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Really uh, full of flavors for only 6%. Getting that earthy um, taste to it as well. Yeah, it's a lovely beer. Kind of surprised. Yeah. It also got a um, um, tastes like um, what we call in the Netherlands a zoot hout. Um, they actually put it in the beer, and it's called Liquor's Wood. It's a uh, tiny bits of. Uh, looks like wood but it is not wood and uh, you can eat it and it tastes like licorice and it works really well in this beer it's got a nice uh, nice swing to it yeah yeah uh, every time I want to take another sip because it tastes so great yeah, it's really nice. Like I said, 3.3 um, on a tap, not much, but um, definitely going to give this a 375. It is really decent, really solid. Uh, for 6%, it goes um, from earthy notes to licorice to chocolate to uh, nice fruity f uh, notes from the citra. Um, or in a nice business to it. Yeah, it's really complex for only 6%. So a job well done, if you ask me. Uh, 375 out of 5 for me. Um, I will post a link to the uh, Brewers website below the video. And I will links, uh, post links to my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. And um, there will be more um, reviews from Brouwerij & Mola really soon um, from their bar special. From 2019 and um, hope you liked it if you did uh, subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and uh, get um, a notification when a new uh, review is online uh, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you again uh, next week or hopefully I don't know maybe cheers